Good morning, John. It's Friday. And I think that we have all been in this situation at one point or another. I'm on the home screen of my YouTube app. YouTube shows me a thumbnail. And then I'm on the desktop homepage and it shows it to me again. Mm. It's showing up as the autoplay after Veritasium's video on black holes. YouTube really must think this video is right for me and so you cave and you watch the unseen inefficiency of escalator etiquette. And, ugh. Okay. First, the title is fine. There is unseen inefficiency caused by escalator etiquette. The thumbnail and the video, however, are making a case. The split is wrong. Is it? No. Let's go through the argument. Escalators move all the time so they can carry far more people than elevators. This capacity is why we use them. Point number two, in cities, there is an unspoken and sometimes explicit rule that you should stand on the right so people can walk on the left. Point number three, the split decreases the carrying capacity of the escalator because walkers take up more space than standards. And this is somewhat surprisingly true. It is the principal inefficiency in the unseen inefficiency of escalator etiquette. But then we have a bit of a leap. In the end, the video goes so far as to suggest that individuals start some kind of mass cultural protest standing on the left and the right in order to stop the menace of inefficient escalators. And start the revolution. Except that this didn't really seem right to me and probably doesn't to a lot of other people because the problem this video endeavors to solve with this mass cultural shift is the problem of overcapacity escalators. But escalators are almost never at capacity. The Hoburn Station Metro experiment in London, this was an escalator that was often at capacity. It's also a very long escalator, so most people choose to stand, leaving one side of the escalator almost entirely empty. And even in this situation, they only had standing on both sides during peak times. In that situation, at that station, yes, it is better for everybody to stand. But in the vast majority of situations, escalators are nowhere near capacity because capacity is what escalators are so good at. So to summarize the situation, what's the right way to ride an escalator? It depends. This split isn't the best solution. Except when it is, which is almost all the time. The 2014 study cited in the video actually only recommends standing on both sides during emergencies. Which, by the way, you should stand on escalators during an emergency, especially if there are a lot of people behind you. Two people per step, no running, no walking. That is good advice. But it's not advice that's gonna get you YouTube clicks, and ultimately that's why I'm making this dumb video right now. I've been running professionally on the internet for a long time. Like, for scale, like, I started before Millie Bobby Brown existed. So I'm perfectly aware of the hoops that you can jump through to make something that's pretty interesting become like a righteous click. I run a media company. We talk all the time about how a SciShow topic isn't good unless it surprises people. The greatest bias in media isn't toward one side of a political spectrum or the other. It's toward interesting, tellable stories. Because that's the biggest bias our audience has. Now, am I saying that this escalator video is bad? Yes! But it was very close to not being bad. Inefficiency? Absolutely. Start the revolution? No! This is the difficulty of being a creator or a media company in a world with, like, infinite content. We have to chase the interesting. So much so that sometimes we end up manufacturing the interesting. I could have picked a billion other videos. I'm aware of that. I chose this one as a fairly non-controversial example. So I apologize to the person who made it because it was, like, a pretty well-done video. It was very interesting. Lots of good facts. It manufactured some interesting that didn't exist. I have also been guilty of this, especially early in my blogging career. The reason I'm making this video is because, like, a lot of people, Crash Course, Destin from Smarter Every Day, many, many other people, are starting to realize that, like, we need to be taking this stuff more seriously and paying attention to how our buttons are getting pushed by the content that we're enjoying and ingesting. Because maybe, if we all start taking our clicks a little more seriously, we can start the revolution. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. John, thank you for your amazing video from Sierra Leone. I'm linking to it right here. Everybody needs to go watch this. That's all.